so uh, this is the awareness and response uh, and sustainable development like pro this is our program this is uh, this earth five r is our organization for which we are we have created this training program and uh, this uh, this is just an awareness program just an advice this is not like prescribed like you don't have to do it like it's just an awareness program okay because many people are not aware about it so like let's get started Okay. one second now hold okay. on okay so this is the disclaimer okay uh, this is a precautionary training to spread awareness and self sustainability the best way to prevent illness is to avoid getting exposed to this virus and there is no known vaccine okay so the advice in the training should not be taken as an absolute immunity to the virus and the training should not be taken as medical advice or prescription Uh, as i've already mentioned then uh, research and study uh, results change as the scientists know more about the novel virus and accordingly the result and study is being changed because still there is no vaccine so the training will be updated as per the reports and the advice has been sourced from international healthcare organization which is who and cdc okay so this was the disclaimer and here we have put a quote uh which is uh, timely evidence based information is the best vaccine against rumors and misinformation so there are many rumors and misinformation related to covid-19 so that's why we have put this the tire the scot uh okay we'll go okay okay so what are the what is the importance of this ppt why we are doing it uh, so we want to inform the population about the health risks posed posed by the coronavirus you guys can hear me right Yes. yes yes okay cool so as well as uh, what they can do to protect themselves okay and this is the best way to mitigate the spread and reduce the amount of further contagion cases so this is the importance of the of our awareness program and uh, what we are looking for is prevention like wh what to do to prevent the spread of this virus then surfaces how long the virus stays on different surfaces and then self sufficiency self sufficiency during the pandemic like what this is the most important part of our uh, awareness ppt then um, how do you get covid 19 so this is the very like this is the basic information uh once you come in contact with another po infected person with the virus and then if someone is infected uh coughs or sneezes directly on your face okay then uh, they touch the any surface with little droplets from infected people's cough or sneezes and then touches their ears eyes or mouth so do not touch okay got it yeah okay okay yes. so then the next is prevention what to do how can we prevent prevent this uh if someone in your home is sick okay right now if someone is sick what you can do continue to practice everyday preventive actions as usual then uh, keep the ill person in a separate room from others like keep him isolated then if caring for a sick household member then monitor your own health too okay you have to take care of yourself no one is going to do that for you so then keep surfaces disinfectant and also avoid sharing personal items personal items like towels and uh, anything which you use on your body it should not be shared then if you become sick stay in contact with others by phone or email this means that do not be in physical contact or anything just isolate yourself and you can talk to them through phone that's it then take care of the emotional health of your household members including yourself okay so this was if someone is sick at your home then social dis distancing so social distancing means safe distance keep at least a distance of 2 meters which is 6 feet between yourself and the other person and uh, uh, this is uh, older adults okay so uh, try not to come in contact with the elderly as they are most vulnerable to the virus okay so avoid being in contact with old people uh then uh, emergency warning signs okay so these are the emergency symptoms which you see uh lips or face suddenly turning bluish because if the virus gets into your body then it releases toxins okay so because of that there is a problem with the blood circulation and that's why uh, because of the toxins your lips and face turns pale and bluish and then uh, there's persistent pressure in the chest 
because of uh, blockage in the blood pressure and then uh, confusion or inability to wake up then the fourth one is difficulty or trouble while breathing okay so these are the four em emergency warning uh, symptoms then uh, we have protection tips so maintain social distancing this is the most important which most of the people are not following yet then wash your hands frequently and keep objects and surfaces clean don't touch your eyes nose or mouth okay then personal protective equipment which we can uh, while going out which we can use is the f uh, very first one is lab coat or apron this actually means cover yourself properly with your with whatever clothes you are wearing and then surgical or cloth masks and respirators use them then you should also use glasses okay so to cover up your eyes and also use safety gloves uh, must be worn to, uh, to the wrist okay <laughs> you guys can hear me right hello yeah continue okay uh, when you have to step outside what you can do use personal protective equipments ppe while stepping out try use uh, to use digital payments okay so do not uh, use like uh, right now prefer using google pay or paytm wagera so that uh, you don't come in contact with the change in uh, uh, change of cashes and all so that you don't catch virus then uh, cover yourself with your elbow when coughing and use hand sanitizer try not to touch anything while you are outside okay then uh, clean frequently touched surfaces and objects see uh, like for example doors and all which you use normally so uh, clean your main door every day and so this means that only ha huh. so the virus and the surfaces find out how long the virus stays on different surfaces so here are different surfaces and the virus stays for uh, on these surfaces for a different period of time uh, like for example on sprayers it stays for 3 hours on copper it stays for 4 hours on plastic for around 2 to 3 days then cardboard it stays uh, for 24 hours then on steel for 2 to 3 days and again on wood for 4 days uh in the next ppt you can see there is a procedure of how to wash your hands so it just means that wash your hands properly wash your fingers palm to palm fingernails then in the next uh, slide you can see uh, wash your wrist thumbs rub until dry and then it becomes disinfected so wash your hands properly using 60% alcohol or soap that's it uh so this is the way how you should wash your hand and then this is the most important part uh this is self sufficiency at the times of pandemic okay way of life self sufficiency and sustenance while we stay inside what we can do for our self sustainability okay. okay so this is um food and diet the very first important thing is food and diet include dry groceries in your uh, food like pulses because pulses have long life so which means you don't have to get out for the, the grocery shopping very frequently so that's why you should use uh, most like you can use dry groceries then the second is immune uh, boosting ingredients okay so there are few ingredients like turmeric vitamin c sources example lemons oranges gooseberries so these uh, ingredients you use in your diet so that it uh, makes your immune system strong and then reduce reduce meat con consumption okay avoid getting out more often for fresh meat Okay. then we have exercise indoors okay so nowadays like we all know during this quarantine everyone is very, has become very lazy so we should do exercise we have we should do exercise indoors like the very first one is stretching because stretching uh, re it releases uh, muscular tension and uh, owing to stress and improves blood circulation then do cardiovascular exercises and then also do breathing practices then cleaning and sanitation this is the most important thing uh, use bleach use bleaching powder to wash plastic packages whatever packages you're getting at home uh, like a tetra pack uh, packet or uh, any packet just use bleach or you can also use vinegar to wash it so then uh, use okay. potassium permanganate use potassium permanganate to wash vegetables and fruits and then get sunlight dry your clothes in sunlight which is a natural disinfectant okay so this was cleaning and sanitation yeah, okay. 
then essentials shopping okay this is very important shop only the essentials do not hoard that means do not uh, just uh, buy each and everything because of the lockdown because uh, th that's not really good because uh, that uh, like these things should be essential like this these things should be available for all the members right so shop only the essentials then uh, use digital payment as i have already mentioned to avoid cash and card transactional exchange then avoid buying junk food buy healthy this is very important okay then practice social distancing while shopping then work from home okay so this uh, this is for people who are uh, doing work from home right now take regular breaks take regular breaks during work hours and stretch then put away your devices put away your devices for longer stretch st uh, longer stretches especially a uh, hour, few hours before sleeping then develop new skills take time to develop new, new skills for the digital world use this time this just means that then spend quality time in bonding with your family then call on your friends as talking to people who care about you has a deep positive effect to your mental health so don't get bored call your friends spend time with your family then get proper sleep sleep at time like sleep at same time every day then sleep for six seven to eight hours every day then be mindful of your resource usage limit water usage and reduce energy usage so do not keep the tap running while washing hands for 20 seconds then uh, use optimum amount of water in frequent cleaning and sanitation then try to use manual equipments to clean instead of machines to save powder and uh, uh, to save power and exercise then avoid ac or use it at a higher temperature as there has been lower infection uh, rate in warmer temperatures so now uh, limit the consumption of news and social media okay get your news in the morning every day verify news authenticity be aware whether it's uh, true news or fake news because people are getting stressed due to these fake news then uh, uh, do not overdo social media, especially close to bedtime. That is very harmful. And then avoid new close uh, news close to bedtime. And then we must each do our part. This is our message to the PPT.